Hello, my name is Will Carmack and today's After Effects CC tutorial. I will be showing you how to do the lightsaber effect. I'm also uh, on a conquest to try and take down uh, Justin Odisho. <laughs> With that being said, let's hop into it. So open up the clip that you are going to edit in Adobe After Effects. Today I will be using this clip from the video I made with Colin and Samir. First things first, come up here to Layer, hit New, and you want to make a new solid. And you want to change the color to white. This will end up being the lightsaber that you're editing. So let's name this Saber White. Perfect, okay, and bam, your whole screen will now be white. We're going to come down here to the visibility section and just click that eyeball off so you don't even see the white solid. And now the next part, uh, I will admit, sucks. Uh, there's no easy streamlined way to mask the saber out. You actually have to do it frame by frame. So get to the point where your saber starts to come out. So for me, that's right here. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to the pin tool come to where your lightsaber is visibly coming out of your handle and start masking. I usually only use four dots. So now that you have the beginning of your mask on your saber, hit M and that's just the shortcut to bring down the mask option in your effects. After you've hit M to bring down the mask, come down here to mask path and hit the stopwatch to start your first keyframe. If you hit command and the right arrow key, it'll go over one frame. And now you just have to move that mask along with your saber. And so this process, like I said, isn't great because it's just frame by frame masking. So I'll speed this part up for you. You basically just have to go frame by frame and mask out the colored part of your lightsaber. So here's a point to note. Once you get to a scene where you're actually swinging the lightsaber hard, your masking and keyframes have to become a lot more intentional. Because when you're swinging a lightsaber, it doesn't stay strictly to the boundaries of the lightsaber. And it drags behind the lightsaber as you swing. So for example, I'm about to swing down, and so if you just drag the keyframes to match the movement of the saber, it gives it a more real effect that you're swinging in a specific direction. And so again, I'll speed this up to just show you how I'm going to mask this. And so now that you've masked out your lightsaber for the entire clip, you're actually almost done. The rest, I think, is pretty fun. So if you make that white solid layer visible again, there's going to be a white bar that's following the saber. And so basically, this is what you're gonna animate to look like a lightsaber. So come down to the saber white layer and hit Command D four times. One, two, three, four. So now you have five layers of that same solid. If you hit Shift and click the bottom one, it'll select all of them and hit the M key twice that'll drop down all the masking options for each layer. And so now we're just gonna feather each layer so there's a progressive blur that comes out which kind of just resembles the light coming out of a lightsaber. So this first one, we're gonna hit three. The second one, 10. The third one, 30. The next one, 60. And then the last one, 120. Now, if you look at the lights, lightsaber now, it, it kind of already looks like a lightsaber. The next step is to hit M again to drop down every single one of those mask things and come back up to layer, new, and this time instead of a white solid, we're gonna make a black solid. And this is just gonna act as a base layer for all of these white ones. So drag it below every single lightsaber layer. And now all there is is like the floating lightsaber from which you masked. Clearly, we don't want the background of the saber to be black. So click on that black solid and then hit shift click to select every single one of them. Right click and come down here to pre-compose. Now let's name this lightsaber. And what this allows us to do is come over to the blending mode and hit screen. And now it's one editable layer as one thing. Now that we've done that, this part I think is the most fun. We get to choose what color we want our lightsaber to be. So if you go over to the effects panel, type in curves and drag curves on top of your lightsaber layer. Now this grid will pop up and depending on what color your lightsaber is gonna be, drop down this RGB selection and let's just keep it simple and make this one blue. So if you hit blue, you can now drag all of these to create a blue effect that comes out of the lightsaber. And so if you drag this main one up, you get that simple blue color, but if you drag the next one down, it kind of adds like depth 
and like whether or not you want it really bright or really dark. So let's make it a bit brighter. And so just mess around with these until you get the color that you want. Actually, let's make it teal. I like that, that's cool. And bam, you now have a lightsaber to the color of your liking. All right, that's how you do the lightsaber effect in After Effects CC 2019. If you haven't seen it already, go watch my last video, which is an epic lightsaber battle throughout the most popular places in Rome. This video isn't sponsored, but if you want to help me be able to continue to create tutorials and travel around the world, the top link in the description below is my Patreon. There's behind the scenes of all of my videos and exclusive editing tutorials before I even release them. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I will be somewhere in this world. Right now I'm in Malta. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. Testing, check, check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.